Hello everybody, my name is Sirius Blue and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a whole lot of gunpowder. These are the things you will need for this build, roughly 27 stacks of building blocks, 7 stacks of oak buttons, and 20 stacks of oak trap doors. And also 2 water buckets, 4 pistons, 4 observers, 4 redstone torches, 1 lever, 2 chests, 1 hopper minecart, a hopper, 48 fence posts, 24 pieces of carpet, you will also need 24 cats. I will show you an easy way for you to be able to get them all up there. It's not as hard as you think. And one trident and around seven and a half stacks of slabs. Now I would recommend building this over ocean, but you definitely don't have to. If you do build it on land though, I would highly advise lighting up as many caves in your area as you can. Now if you are going to build it on the ocean, a little tip so you don't have to build from the bottom is just put a little lily pad and you can just place your blocks right on top and work from there. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go 120 blocks up. So a quick and easy way is to just look at your Y coordinate, which is the second coordinate on the top left. So I'm at 63, so I'm gonna go up to 183. Now once you have made your way up here, you can make yourself a little four by five platform. Now if you don't have Elytra, you can just go ahead and add ladders or scaffolding to this pillar in order for you to be able to get up here. And now what you're gonna wanna do is place a chest right here and then come behind it and place a hopper going into the back of it with a rail on top and then put a hopper minecart on top of that. And now you can actually encase this hopper minecart and place two stairs right here if you would like. And you can still open up this chest and it still looks really clean and like it goes with the build. Now what you're gonna wanna do is come to the other side and actually add another layer to where it's a four by four and then make another layer on top of that. And now you'll take your pistons and place one like so, right here. So it'll look just like this. And now you'll take your observers and have them facing this way to where the arrow is facing into the piston that it is next to, just like this. And now you'll take your redstone torches and place them onto each of the pistons right here and it should start firing. Now you can come right here and place a lever and flip it to turn it off for the time being. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go 20 blocks up from right here, so one, two, three, etc. And you're going to want to do that to all of these blocks right here. Now once you have done this, you will come to the top and you will actually go four blocks out, so one, two, three, four. Build one up and then go seven blocks out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you are going to want to fill this in just like so and do this to the other side. Now, once you have this, you can come to the side and make a two high wall and you're going to want to fill in this wall and you're also going to want to remember to bring it down so it will be three high for the lower part. Now, once you have done this, you will come to the edge and go eight out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you are going to fill it in on both sides. And now once you have this, you'll come to the edge and make a two high wall. And you're going to want to wrap this all the way around. For the length of the build, you will put it on the outside, making sure that you have eight right here. But for the width, you will actually line it up with how it is right here. And now you should have something that looks just like this. Now what you're gonna wanna do is place your buttons every other block, just like this. Now once you have gone ahead and done this, what you wanna do is actually come to the edge of the little trench and fill up both of the sides with buttons. Now once you have done that, you will come to the side right here and place two fence posts, skip four, one, two, three, four, Two fence posts, one, two, three, four. Two fence posts, one, two, three, four. Two fence posts, just like that. And you're gonna wanna do that to the other side as well. Now, once you have all of these, what you'll wanna do is in each of them, place a piece of carpet and put a cat in there. And a way to breed your cat and tame a cat is with raw cod. And then you'll just sit them right there in their little spot. A place you can find the cats is in villages. Now the easiest way I can think to get the cats up there is to build a water elevator all the way to the top and bring your two cats, because you will need two, 
and you're actually going to want to tame them that way it's easier for them to follow you around now once you have them both tamed what you're going to want to do is nudge them into the water elevator and once they're in the water elevator you're going to want to get into the water elevator that way they don't despawn on their way up now once you have both of your cats up here what you're actually going to do is breed them together and you will get more cats and you will use these two cats in order to have enough cats for all of your slots now once you have all of your cats in place what you're going to want to do is come right here and make a roof that is covering everything except for this section right here now once you have done this you're going to place trap doors just like this going all across the top i'm going to share with you guys a really quick way i found to placing the trap doors and that is to actually crouch and you just kind of set up and you can double click just like this really quickly going across now once you have done this you will go to the next layer and repeat all of those steps. The buttons, the cats, the trap doors, and these buttons as well. Now once you have done this, go ahead and add another layer. You don't have to add extra layers, but I would really recommend three layers to have a really efficient farm. And now you should have three different layers. And just a little checklist to make sure you got everything right. A too high wall. Buttons spaced out every other block all along the floor cats with fence posts on either side of them with a carpet underneath spaced out by four different blocks trap doors on every single block on the ceiling and buttons along either side of the edges now once you have done all of this you can actually come down here and create an infinite water source so all you have to do is place the block right here two blocks like this two blocks like this and a block right here and you'll take your two water buckets and place one right here and one right here and now you can grab from the center block and it'll always be a water source. And what you want to do is come to these edges and place two buckets of water right here and two buckets of water right here. And they should flow into the end. And now what you also need to do is place buttons just like this. And now you can go ahead and actually get rid of this water source and break all of these blocks. Then actually come up to this top layer and fill all of this in. Once you have the top layer filled, what you're gonna wanna do is come onto the roof and place half slabs all along the roof. Now, once your roof is completely filled with half slabs, you can make your way down to the killing chamber. Now, from this chest, you're actually gonna wanna go 25 blocks out. So one, two, three. Once you have gone 25 blocks out, you can connect this all up. This is actually going to be where you stand when you AFK at this farm. I would definitely advise making a safe little room for yourself to stay in so no phantoms or any mobs are able to get you. Now you're definitely going to want to go ahead and light things up around here. That way there are no mobs spawning anywhere on this platform and all of them are spawning up there. Now the last step for you to do is to go into here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and throw your trident you might want to do this before actually you definitely want to do this before any of them start falling because if they see you they will blow up your contraption so all you're going to want to do is throw your trident into a piston just like this close it back up and turn it on and now your farm is working and as you can tell it's only been a few minutes and i already had a bunch of creepers in there and so how it's going to work is the creepers will fall and they will be pushed around and the tridents will actually kill them dropping more loot and giving xp and then the hopper minecart underneath those blocks will pick up all the loot and put them right into this chest and now you have an awesome afkable gunpowder farm if this helped you guys out press that like button and i post bedrock tutorials every single week so definitely click subscribe if you want some of that and if you have any questions leave them in the comments peace